three, two, one, clear. Okay, so that would have started the start of night. Hey everyone, we're back in the shop working on the Dark Arrow 1 prototype. We've been pretty busy lately working on the engine, trying to get ready for the first engine start. We're basically ready to fire it up, but before we do that, I want to walk you through a little bit of the installation just to get everyone on the same page with what we're working with here for a power plant. So this is the UL 520IS engine made by UL Power out of Belgium. It's 200 horsepower, six cylinders, it's air-cooled, uh, direct drive, so no gearbox. We've got electronic ignition, electronic fuel injection, and it's uh, ECU controlled, so it's basically a FADEC engine. And on this one, we have dual ECUs for redundancy. We're using an electric constant speed propeller made by Airmaster Propellers. We're not gonna be running anything with the uh, pitch change mechanism for the first start. We're just kind of disabling that, so it'll be a fixed pitch prop for the first engine start. Ready to install it, there were a bunch of little tasks that we had to complete to get it all hooked up and ready to go. Some of the last items on the checklist were priming the fuel system and priming the oil lubrication system. The way we did that, uh, priming the fuel system, basically just turned on the fuel pumps, they're electric, so just pumping fuel through the whole fuel system, all the plumbing, and then we're waiting to see that we have fuel returning back to the tank in the return line. So once we confirm that, we know we had fuel all the way up to the fuel injectors. And then priming the oil system, uh, we remove one spark plug from each cylinder and then turn the uh, propeller and the crankshaft over with just the starter motor. The idea there is just turning it over, uh, runs the oil pump and pumps oil through all of the engine systems just so that we have lubrication everywhere. With one spark plug removed, it uh, keeps the cylinders from building up pressure and uh, loading up the bearings before there is any oil in the system. So now that that's complete, all those uh, fluid systems are primed, we're basically ready to fire it up. So we're gonna roll it outside to start the engine. A couple safety items, we're gonna have uh, fire extinguishers ready to go in case we have a fire, we're ready to put it out. And then securing the aircraft, we're gonna tie it down with some straps, secure it into the hard points for the main landing gear. So then we'll extend those back to a pile of sandbags uh, just to keep it from rolling away during the engine start. I think we're ready to go. Let's roll it out and see how it works. We got the engine to run, it fired right up. We're pretty pleased about that. You probably noticed that the prop only turned over a couple times before the cylinder started firing and it was running under its own power. We didn't exactly know what to expect there considering the engine had sat for some time before we got it all hooked up and ran it. So we're pleased about that. Next steps, uh, we're gonna take some time to kind of inspect the engine and make sure that nothing weird happened. We're looking for any leaks or loose nuts or bolts, just anything anomalous. So far, our initial inspection hasn't revealed anything. That's a good sign. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna inspect it some more and then ultimately do some more testing. We didn't really push it that hard during the first engine start. We were only trying to just confirm that it runs and the, the basic functionality is there. But then we're going forward, going to do some more testing, 
pushing it harder, running it to higher RPMs and watching the temperatures, pressures, uh, fluid flow rates, that kind of thing, and trying to build more confidence as we proceed into taxi testing and then ultimately into flight testing. We're gonna leave it here for now, for today. We're gonna have more videos coming up documenting some more of this test work, but uh, we'll leave it here. So thanks for watching everyone. We'll catch you in the next video. Okay.